Since is it true that you had a BDL? There are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my family. On the third day. On the third day, uh, <laughs> That's that one, yeah. Like Christ himself. What was that about? I don't even and know. I don't know. And you went to a fancy know. restaurant um, um, in a beautiful place in South Africa. And he Mostel. left you with Love them. Love them. them. Ooh, it's babe. He's not circumcised. I, mean, I, <laughs> yes. I mean, not just... So it, for Mama Fundis and all of that, I mean, I heard the, the audible voice of God. It wasn't a decision. It wasn't a decision. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Why are you back? With a bang. With a bang. Um, <laughs> uh, we gave him something new. Yeah. Um, they gave us a name in the comments. I, I, I don't know if you saw. I, I Remember we were struggling with the name yes. for the show. It's more like. It's more like. I yeah, see, money. Like. So, I, uh, well, first it's of all, I just want to say I didn't get the memo <laughs> that I was supposed to wear <laughs> jeans and I was supposed to wear my t-shirt. So, why don't we go to get a match? Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome to the Indie Man Your Life. My name is Zungelo KM. Of course, this is the More Life Edition. I'm not alone. I'm with Noa. And today we have a friend of the show. She's amazing. She's special. Um, she works at an oil refinery. Can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, she's so beautiful, you would never, ever, ever think right. that she really does. Right. Where you call her that, Mama? When you just said oil refinery, I just thought of Umuntu Nama Futa. Wow. And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> those two don't add up. You know, you know, but I mean, it, it makes sense. In fact, no, I, that I saw an Instagram story a few days ago. I called her Sabu Obaro and Sabu Makuta. That's Haibo. And she does transform. Really? I do, guys. Unfortunately or fortunately, that is my life in Koranju. Makalapa, safety boots, your um, PPE, your harnesses. Mm. I'm zip on your feet because you have to wear your gloves when you're going yeah. out into the gantry. So that is me. Wow. Uh, and by the way, for those who don't know, we hanging out today with a wonderful friend of ours. So her name is Setun or Sipo Setun. Sipo Setun. Sipo Setun. I promise you. I promise you. My mom, in fact, my mom wanted to name me Sipo Sam. Yeah. She should say the Sipo said. Okay. Only one name. Oh, she's telling us your dad. The bank. Tell me about the bank. I was a bit messy. Jokes, jokes. No, they were fine. Yeah. But yeah, I was Sipo said. Welcome to the show. Thank so, you for so having, having me. So Thank you for having me. Um, welcome to our new studio as well. Your very first guest. Listen, it's a brand new studio. Guys, I hope you are sad that I was showing in Zanja. How okay. this time. So, I even love lovely being here. Wow. Yes. Listen, you know, hashtag I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's very lovely. Thanks so, for having so, me. Beyond the oil refinery thing, mm -hmm. who are you and what, what are you about? You're so, supposed to say, so as a girl that was born in Kimberley, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I was born in Kimberley That's in the it. Northern Cape. Northern Cape. Northern exactly. Cape. Where no one goes. When nobody cares. <laughs> the only thing that's there is the big hole. Literally, yes. 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 Born in Kimberley, raised in Durban, went to Benjamin Pine, went to Pine Sun Girls High. Wow. Not attached to any of the stereotypes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. okay. Obviously, Brew's amazing people, because I mean, yeah, both. Yeah. Went to Pine, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, went to Pine Sun Girls um, and then did my undergrad at Pretoria, University of Pretoria. Nice. I did my undergrad in uh, supply chain management. And then obviously I had a bursary with the company that I'm working for right oh, now. Okay. Yeah. So you've been there with them ever since. Since Jay, literally. So from oh. school, I after school I joined them on a GDP mm. and then Niga got appointed to the supervision role that I'm in right now. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, outside of work, uh social media influencer. Um, I've got a hair company called oh, Hair by Say Two. Yeah. I, mean, we I can co see. <laughs> <laughs> I co-own um, a toilet paper distribution company with a friend of mine. So we're trying to go into manufacturing. Um, yeah. And then I shall. What did uh, I leave out? Uh, would you appreciate being a cold fatty? Ooh, child. I don't think so. Wait. It, it depends. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. I, I, because it, you're a beautiful woman, I, I'm sure you'd agree that a lot of attention yeah. on the social media is because of how you look. Social media has a, 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 a so, sort of critical element to it, right? Fair. Yeah, I, so being a baddie means it's, it, it's, it's, it's according to how you look? That's what I was about oh, to say. Or is it according to your behavior? 
What is a bad? Nah, so how do you define it? Let me hear from you too. What, what, what is a bad? I don't know. That's why I'm asking Jose if does she regard herself a baddie or not? I mean, apparently I'm a baddie, but I'm, I don't even regard myself as a baddie. I don't even know how I'm a baddie because I'm, I don't even, I don't even go to a club. So baddies go to the club? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I, out there. You know, you know what makes me think who would see a bad is somebody that's out there like yeah. living life. Is because like you'll see tweet people saying like, "Hey, I'm just only being guided because I need to buy a baddie champagne." So it's automatically associated with living like a fast life, an out there life. You're out there. Your Do you understand? Crazy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Ubezi. 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 Whereas I would have thought of baddie in terms of like you could also maybe um define it as a go getter. Because then in that case. Definitely, you know, like I know what I want, mm-hmm. I know how to get what I want, you know, I'm angry, they won't do what I want, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So in terms of that, like I'm bad at what I do, like I'm bad at what I do, I'm really good at it. Ah. So I guess, you know, it, it, it depends, yeah. but am I like a thirst trapper? I don't know, I don't think yeah. I am, yeah, you know, I don't thirst trap, I don't, you know, I, I mean, I've been to the club, because sometimes I have to go there to work, yes. yeah. but other than that, I mean, so I'm not gonna lie now. I feel like it's soft life. Um, those girls that are always um, that don't work, mm-hmm. but you'll see them traveling, mm-hmm. and they uh, they don't work and they carry an iPhone 14, 13, <laughs> but they don't. You've never seen them posting themselves being at work. At work yeah. But they're always posting. They're all out there. So are they not baddies? Are those not? Is that not a baddie? Like a person who just doesn't care about it being, well, not care, but care about social media. And what people see and what what what, what they perceive of, of, of themselves on social media was, I can go to um, I can go to Paris and mm-hmm. go wherever, and I'm living the soft life. All this drinking champagne, I'm never drinking anything else beyond champagne. Oh, so isn't that a bad thing? I thought that's a bad thing. Like a person who say, oh man, oh Pinaji is soft life. I, 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 like I, okay, Um, I hear that side, but I think Setu says. She's on the fence of fence, it yes. because she feels she's a go getter. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I thought and I was I was saying yeah. what I thought of yeah. it. And hence, and, and, yeah. Yeah. and and also the tricky thing is that it is very open to interpretation. Yeah. Because if you if you explaining it like that, then you find like those those people that choose to live their life like that, which is also fine. Yes. Will have like certain things like I don't know, like luxury items, you know. Yeah. Then comes the suppose that oh oh it's the night shifty that has like that's running like four different businesses you know mm-hmm. to get herself those things wearing the same thing that when people look at my social media I could very easily identify me yeah with someone that's do you understand yeah, what i'm yeah, saying so yeah. it's 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 a it's a very tricky thing mm-hmm. and especially if you're going to judge somebody based on how they look mm-hmm. you know because all it takes is a small waist and hips it's like woo, bed to get it i'm telling you something <laughs> and you know what i mean and the poor girl it's not even, you know, it's tricky. So, like, Setu, how are you navigating dating then as a person with high social media influence? Because um, uh, uh, people, a lot of people, yeah. um, just purely from your numbers, I mean, yeah. you, you're chilling on tens of thousands of, of followers. Yeah. People purely desire you, many of them, whether yeah. you like it or not. By yeah. virtue of the numbers, there are actual human beings behind those screens of course. who desire you. How do you then um, navigate what Lomutulo just desires me mm. if somebody shows interest or they, they tick the boxes that, that, yeah. that, that I want? Yeah. I am, and some people call me boring. I will not, and it could be my husband chilling in my DMs, but I will not entertain you from my DM, not my comment section. At so, all. At all. Yeah. We can actually go through them now. So Shegan, you go send me your account number or I love you so much or can we go on a day? I will not if you're listening wait, to this, wait, wait, I'm wait. not gonna say that. So you get a message and the first message message is sending you a account number. Oh no, there's a lot of those. And that's the first <laughs> See, what is your account? Ca- Asamunda don't want your number, I want your account number. Mm-hmm. I've also got one. Okay. You know, so I will never entertain like a romantic relationship from um, social media. I, I won't. Um, I have to know you, unfortunately. I have to know you. I have to meet you. Um, so bump, let's bump get a, somewhere. somewhere let's bump do you know what I mean? Let's bump into yeah. each other. Let's chat. Let's see if we get along. Then you go and with, oh, I remember. I Actually, yeah. we spoke at that event. Mm. Maybe. But the what's in jail? I'm also hitting my like, oh, hey, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> no, ma'am. Thank you. So no, I don't, I don't entertain that, Jim. 
So the lucky guy you were dropping off at the airport here now. I got him. No, it did not. It did not. No. We've, been <laughs> We've been friends. <laughs> We've been friends. We've been friends for years. Been there, yeah? You did. You did. <laughs> you love from the GM. We were friends for a very long yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to I want to go back to work. How do you mm-hmm. then see yourself as a businesswoman beyond um um being a supervisor at work? Because yeah. Obviously, that's very demanding. Why go into it business is, as well? It is. I think if I'm gonna be honest, and I hope I'm not breaking any little girl's dream. For me and what I want to do in my life, I don't see myself climbing the corporate ladder, and I really can. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't it doesn't give me the thrills anymore. Like. Mm-hmm. I literally could go to work right now with my eyes closed and I'll tell you what I'm going to do, no, what, no, what no, challenges, yeah. do you understand? What challenges I'm going to face and I know possibly also what my next role will entail and that's not where my heart is, you know. I get that. Hence why I'm lucky enough that I only work like what, 14 days or 15 days a month, wow. which means it allows me to actually... You've like got half the month to... Basically to like push, push my own things, yeah. yes. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't see myself doing that. That's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make me happy. That's crazy. I know. That's crazy because um, you you got the opportunity, you've got yeah. the, the the privilege to be able to climb. And I think as a young black woman in a male dominated industry, you're actually given preference to climb the ladder in these corporate places. You think to, a, to, to an, an extent, extent right? yeah, 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 yeah. Because the the corporate space, they've got boxes they want to tick with government. Yeah. They've got forms to submit. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But um, of course, there are challenges with of that course, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think I think also like corporate yes obviously there's like the BE they, there's a lot of things that they're trying to achieve but I think to this day like there's still a lot of work to be done mm-hmm. to eliminate the glass ceiling when it comes to women because mm-hmm. you will see the ceiling but as I say it's literally glass you know, so there's a lot of work that has to be done first simply because I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a supervisory role, but yeah. I had to work so much to prove myself to people. Yeah. That you're worthy um, You know what I mean? And when I, exa- exactly. Yeah. And when I started Engine, I was young. So not only am I super young, I'm female as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, of course. And yeah. like, <laughs> how can I forget that? How can I forget that? So it's, it's, yeah. it's very difficult. It's like, I feel like, I know it sounds very sexist, but I feel like women have to work twice as hard. To different Definitely. positions that men have to be in. Definitely. And unfortunately, that's just where we are. And sometimes you're forced to actually sleep for it. And, and even if you work really hard yeah. to get there, people will assume. Yeah, you can you know, choose their choice. People yeah. will assume, yeah. especially like I'm as a little bit more. Um, I think not. I think because I'm always upfront and oh, I'm yeah. not shy about what I've had to do to get to where I am. Even if it means that I can get Kuruma as like a as like a success story. Yeah. But I know the stereotype that comes with being female or in Tanda specifically as mm-hmm. yeah. like, a week. You could the people are gonna assume who's where and that's the same queen again like mm-hmm. that slipped away. Yeah. I will I'll, I'll tell them. Mm. You know, I will tell you who's the sway by my life. Bro. Not that there's anything wrong for people that wanna live their life like yeah. that. But I was about to ask what I are mean, your opinions about using your body then to accomplish things because it's a tool you have. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, child. I'm I'm born with capacity personally. Yeah. I don't think I have that capacity. Mm. I don't I wouldn't even know how to do it, to be quite honest. I find I know if I go school it's on my emotions because I'm very emotional. It's on my cock and you know what I mean? I wouldn't know how to do it unfortunately. I can teach you how to work hard for it. Yeah. I can teach you how to go to school for it and earn it, you know, and earn your respect because unfortunately that's what you need to do. You earn your respect. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you mm-hmm. you you were cornered or you were told you need to do something, probably like a like a person in a higher higher position than you? Have you never not, not necessarily where you are? Yeah. Now? Not in the corporate, no. but yeah. for my businesses, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like specific well, if contract. You do this, I'll take you further. Uh, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, 
<laughs> no, definitely yeah, it happens, yeah. especially if you are in the space of yeah. business, it happens. Corporately, no, because then I'll probably tell them to get off. Okay. You know. Well, I do it in business as well, but it's always such a shock how good men actually have the goal. Mm-hmm. You're right. I, I, um, when we had Nuku Williams on the show um, yeah. a few months ago, yeah. she said the same thing. It's even Nuku, give me that but Abantu will still think that's how I earned my success. And Abantu will still yeah, say, of course. Nah, the tender, the omega, if you, you know what something. I mean, if you do something. Um, and, and that's really unfair. I, um, so, since you're mm-hmm. carrying on with you, yeah. We, I just want to discuss how do you then navigate in a leadership position at work dealing yeah. with other women who might be either your superiors or subordinates. Yeah. How do you yeah. navigate that? Um, actually, fortunately or unfortunately, actually, because <laughs> we actually don't have to deal with a lot of women. Is it? Yeah. Wow. I know. I'm trying to think right now. In my team, I've got two. And they they fine. I've got I've got a, dri- a female driver actually. Wow. Um, and then I've got um, a loading clerk. But other than that, in the um, but I've, I've ha- I haven't had to. Okay, there's one lady, but she's quite old. Um, probably almost my mom's age. And it's it, I don't think it's from a, a professional lens. See, the big, I feel like the biggest mistake I did going into into that role was that obviously being raised as a black female yeah, 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 yeah. you know and, and but I feel like do that I, I did use it against you. exactly yeah. that's the yeah. mistake that yeah. I did obviously because it is my first position I don't know any better you know yes as time went I, I learned you know the, the the tricks of the trade but when when I got there that's what I did and it came back to hit me big time because we are more no we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Mm. You know what I mean? And it kind of becomes hard now to, to move away from that. But as time goes, this is going to work. <laughs> Social media influencing yeah. three people. Yeah. Um, they don't have to necessarily be friends, friends, but yeah. three people you'd say have been there with you in growing the yes. social media space, black females. Oh, growing the space or growing, in growing the space. Okay, with me. Yes. I get one has to my top one actually has to be a girl called Seven Tan Okay. Oh yeah. yes. I love her so much. A very good friend of mine. In fact, me growing as a brand and being where I am today is because of her and her men- mentioning my names in the rooms at the right time and when she needed to. You know, some of the bags that I've got, um, well social media campaigns rather has been see I'm telling yeah, yeah. my name. Um shoo, who is another influential person? Try you putting me on the spot over here. <laughs> Because I'm a girl called Sia, Sia Bunny. Yes. Also I like her. Yes. I really like her. I like what she's about. Um she's I think she's doing yeah. She's doing crazy. Yeah. Things, like, and I like her consistency. Like yeah, she yeah, really yeah. works. She works. Your, it's and content content of exactly, content. exactly. And another lady also in his hand I work at the keg, a girl called Tandolet. Okay, there's Jackie. quite a few Tandolet. Yeah, which one? Take his I think her handle is I am Tandolet. She's a German oh, girl, but oh, she yes. Is, oh yes. Yeah, oh, she's yes. moved yes. to Joburg now. She works hard. The consistency. Dash. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. But it, oh, she, it, it was an artist, though. So. That is an artist. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's even older. I'm coming back with old facts. Carry on. Oh. oh <laughs> no, but you have to bring it. Yeah, I should say that. I can't be the tea lady yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that, but oh. her work ethic, nonetheless, yeah. I think it's amazing. Um, yeah. I think you're amazing. Uh, oh, Amanda? <laughs> amazing yeah. Amanda Jungela, a very yes. good friend of mine as yes, well. Yes. I love her. Yeah. I love her as well. Um, Imag, it was the question how they've shaped me or shaping the industry. Do just, no, no, you. Specifically how yeah, no, they're you. definitely. Yeah, those three. Those three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, do you think the, 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 the breakthrough... Yeah. Uh, 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 comes like what numbers do you think the breakthrough comes in? 
Is it 10k followers, 20k, 50k, 100k? When does I, that moment really shift? Mm. Can I be honest with you? I think it has absolutely nothing to do with numbers. I know that's going to sound so crazy. Mm. It, has I, I need this do, it has everything yeah. to do with your engagement. Yes. Because you can have 10,000 followers and have you reach your moon to own your hundreds. You're right. And that's what brands are starting to look at now. So your analytics count the most. Absolutely. Yeah. You, know? you know when you go through... Because the one thing that you can't hide is your views from my reels. Of course. Or go on with 200,000 followers and they're getting like 4,000 views. Exactly. 2,000 views exactly. and you're like, can't mm-hmm. shy, I'm a work hard. It's exactly. Is off, it's yeah. your engagement. Yeah. It's, it's your followers for me. It's your, and your engagement obviously will build on your followers thinking that you're authentic. Yeah. Yes. You know, and knowing that they have a relationship with you. A lot of influencers with them, so I'm a follower, Zabu, and especially the people that they actually need ultimately. Yeah. But part of so my fans, Zabu, and I'm always it's, just like, that's that's where you guys start to drop it's the ball. So Robotu Mundu was a hit, biggest influencers and Jiggy Jiggy. Not a single thing they say has anything, has any stance or any influence. Mm. It's because they've lost the essence of who they were. I love Mundu just touch, take... touch base on that one. Sorry, yeah, sorry. no problem. Yeah. So Robotu Mundu is losing the essence of who they are. You um, um, partnering with brands that don't represent you, or to the people that are following you, are following you for yourself. I mean, they're not here for a yeah. magazine catalog. They can do that anywhere else, but they're here for you. So they still need to see you in the brands that you work with. Since so is it true that you had a BBL? Huh? Ah! I'm going to a BBL. I can tell you that. Now you went to Turkey? Ooh, child! I wish I had money for Turkey. <laughs> Isn't as I'm here all natural, I'm afraid. Not even the PE one, but I put a total loss of PE. You must bang out and change. There's no interference with my mother. But the streets are talking. Really? I'm going to go on there. I'm going to go on there. I'm going to go on there. Get it out there. No, baby, I haven't had it. It's all natural. Oh, Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. Was niggas cuts. But I, I can tell you that much that I haven't had a BBL. I've been going to the gym a lot more. Shout out to this only that makes me work really hard. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to watch what I eat. I would be honest that I am wearing a lot more revealing clothes mm-hmm. of late. You know. Mm. But it's a BBL, you know. Of course, you need to show me that. I think there's one um, bikini picture that you posted. I think the, the allegation started there. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that Jade was like, yeah, so put me a tape. We're still healing process and I post. <laughs> you know what? You, you know what the funny thing is? Have I ever had any other bikini picture? Okay, there is. I think there's one picture where I'm sitting on the beach and I'm facing the other way. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. never really used to post like that. Yeah. You know. Um, I, think I, I think I am a bit more expressive now. Mm-hmm. Is it intentional? Okay. Are, guys? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Right. I don't think there's. If you want to get your butt bigger, if you you know, if you want to lift up your butt, do it. Hmm. If you I have don't the money, if you have the money, and I think you know what? Unfortunately, I think a lot of people. I know this is gonna probably bring so much hate towards me, but a lot of people about Kulmayo, I feel, are people that want to do it and just don't have the funds to do it. Yeah. So, so these people who are because people are very pointing about BBLs. Yeah. They hate it from outside of the club. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I can I can tell you that for free. Yeah. Definitely. Well, what, what does it consist of? Because, see, I, 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 I try to learn, yeah. but I'm hearing that it's like reallocation of fat from other parts of your body to your bum. Is it really that? Or is it I, actually like a, a plastic, plastic? I don't think, I don't it's think plastic. it would. Is it plastic? I don't think it is plastic. No, I don't think it's plastic. Well, in essence, silicone. what was... You can put silicone, I know you can put silicone in your boobs. Yeah. I don't know what you I'm going to get a boob job. <laughs> no, I'm your kids, I want to get a boob I'm job. Let's be honest. Job. I just want to be honest, <laughs> and once you see me and so you see my boobs... I want to, I want to, oh, you know, yeah. yeah. And my husband knows, my future husband, after, so I give you them three kids, there is no husband yet. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. 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 there's a somebody, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think I think it's a very difficult thing, but I'm starting to learn to be very head on with it. I'm toxic when it when it comes to that regard. Like I usually would like shut off, mm. shut off people around me, not talk about it, and then I let it fester up until it's something that's really big and bothers mm-hmm. me. Um, and then you get as well go to like your psychologist and mm. things like that. But it's a, it's a very it's a very terrible toxic trait that I that I have. But now that I'm aware of it. I think I'm in a better position of dealing with it, mm-hmm. mm. you know. And I think how I learned that was the passing of my dad. So when I started um, varsity, my father passed away. Okay. Mm-hmm. And at the time, it's okay, baby. At the time, it was just like okay, survival mode. You know, I, I just started university. I can't be mourning, Baba. Do you know what So put on your big girl panties and just keep it moving. Yeah. Um, and I remember telling myself, guys, this was so sick. I told myself that my dad is still alive. He's just in China. So I'm gonna keep going because we're gonna and I must and graduate. Bro, that's and a coping mechanism, you, eh? A serious one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when I finished my studies, I remember I literally went into um. I'm sure my dear, you have Jehovah not really. <laughs> what is it called? So um, yeah, yeah, except for a week. Yeah, yeah. To excuse me, to just deal with it because I wasn't coping. Hmm. You know, and during that time, I remember I'd call him and then the phone would go to voicemail. Yes, it's him. It's Carlo. So I think I think right now I'm more vocal. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. I'll be right there and there. Like listen, one, two, three, four, and the next. I'm, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. And then we move on. Mm-hmm. You know, because in dog bamba, it's yeah. literally it's it's it's. So you'd say exist. losing losing dad has been the most you'd say the most difficult thing you've found. Very in your diffi- life. Oh my goodness, yeah. very difficult. Extremely difficult. Not only that, like I had to now face losing my dad and my life changing completely. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys could attest. I feel like most typical black families, when the head passes away, a lot of things change. <laughs> you know, like from be- literally, I went from having a home and being able to afford things to being homeless. Oh mm. You know what I mean? So it, it was very drastic. So now it's like you you dealing with the fact that you've lost your father at the same time. Your life is completely different. You're having to operate in a space that you don't know. Mm. You know, I don't know what it was like to go stand in queues trying to apply for NAS first and groceries. I never saw myself yes, in this space. Yes, yeah. You know, but and is now, mom still around? Mom is still around. Oh, my bestie. Yeah. Yeah, and in the Lungulam Kulunga, we've managed to rebuild. You've had such a trough. Do you know what I mean? We literally, everything that we have lost, I think God has restored like a hundred times in fold. There's this, um, I recently had Angel Angela on Engineer Your Life. Yeah. And <laughs> she went through a lot of flack on social media. Yeah. Um, because she's just a confident woman who yeah. speaks highly of herself. Yeah. Um, do you think social media influences who are Durban based are yeah. undermined by those in Joburg? Um, who? I, I won't lie, I haven't experienced that. Mm-hmm. I think as a whole, you are going to get people in the industry that feel that they're better than everyone else. I hear you. I don't think it's particularly... The location and thing. And you understand, yeah. yeah. I think that you will get into the room and I will be on some... Do you know who I am? Mm. to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I think that people should worship the ground that I walk on. Mm. But I don't think that they're victimizing... Um, but I haven't experienced to looking down on me just because they're from Joburg and they think mm. they're bigger than me. Who's so. the most famous person in your DMs? Pets! Oh my word! Listen, I'll give you this, right? You're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're self sufficient. So that means it's not embarrassing to be in your yes. DMs. Right? Yes. So you no! Yes. I think it's. It's who? It's here. Loads above it. Yes. Okay, give us a hint. We'll figure it out. Everyone's so honest. Woo, guys! Woo, mm mm. I'm banging, I'm banging, I'm a husband. I'm banging. Oh! Yo! I'll be nasty. Yo! <laughs> You gotta be kidding. I'm telling you. Like for instance, if I was a gent guys and I was in the public eye, yeah, let alone married. Yeah, people DM me. Oh, you so scared, exactly. I'm not even gonna scratch your skin again. Do you understand? <laughs> no, guys. People are messy. They need to stop that. It's toxic. 
<laughs> we won the full summer talk scene. They need to stop that. Y'all need to stop that. Focus on your eyes. So okay, uh, no, okay, you're not giving me a name, you're not giving me a hint. Yeah. How many mm. famous people are in your It's games? a lot. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. More than 10? No, it's a lot, yeah. You? At me, most married? Um, Not most married. Balanced. Like, yeah. 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 Hectic, eh? Yeah. Can yeah. I wish she's out there? What? <laughs> so it, it, it fascinates me over to never protect her whole boot. What I mean is the one the alpha said. Never protect the alpha because they, you who starts with protecting and people's marriages are gonna die. But so she's a man, she's a woman, she's a woman. Come on, give me some advice. Can you come and request? Okay, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> so she's not gonna die. She's gonna wait till my teacher. Why not? Hi, so. <laughs> And they can't, y'all continue. We'll just tweet with about it. <laughs> it's signing. Wow. Um, yeah. Coming out from right there. Say to. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drink to that. Let me drink What has been your best social media campaign? Mm. Ooh. Um. In terms of in terms of money, mm. it's been it has to be Johnny Walker by mm-hmm. far. Um, money, the, the the people that I met there, the mm. work that I got, it was just fun. Mm. Like I would forget that it's work. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know. Um, in terms of growth, though, I'm not saying that Johnny Walker hasn't grown me. There's a video I did uh, recently for Giorgio Armani. Oh wow! That for yeah, that for me was 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 proper growth. I think it hit like a million views. Wow! That's crazy. So, yeah, the engagement. Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was a little bit like for now, so I couldn't charge more. And the video did well, but I was yeah. like, yeah. can you guys? My bad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess, like, TVC. Oh, wow. 10% extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was very happy with how that. Then how do you guys charge? Or you, no, Because I know some people they don't like to share much. Yeah. yeah, some people they don't like to share. So I doubt that will tell you how much she charges, but no, 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 I'm not saying she to you how she charges. So, so there was a friend, there's a friend of mine that used to work for an agency called um, Humans. So what mm-hmm. I usually do, I because they have like your stats, yeah. Yeah. Right? especially if you signed up for them. So they can see, because it's, it's diff- like I said to you guys, it's more than just following. So most people will tell you, you charge 10% of your following. That's like the, I don't know if it's still a rule, but that was like the going rule back yeah. then. So charge 10% of your following. So if you've got 80,000, you're going to charge... Um, 8,000 8, rand for, for a post. For what? 8 posts. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it doesn't always work like that. Because for instance, yeah, fine, I, I can I can have the 80,000. But it's going to go my reach as half a million. Mm. Half a million followers. It, it works like that. You know, so it, it depends on your reach. And also, you know how much work you put into it. Absolutely. You know, like, Some things require a videographer, an exactly, editor, exactly. lights, different locations, it you know depends, what I mean? outfits. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so, for it may be, yeah. you, Exactly. People go all out for content. It, it, is, yeah. a, it is a production. If mm. you start to take your work seriously like that, you'll understand what each and every campaign you shoot is a man. Mm. You can't be charging a client with 20,000 and then you're going to take your phone near co- Yeah. with and it's that I'm not known that I'm not do that a lot and get away with it? They do. Just because they have got a million followers, I'm not going to get away do. with that. And, and Some part content. Definitely. And yeah. I think brands are starting to see that. If you'll see that there's a big shift. Yes, some brands are still stubborn because they want that association. But um, brands are starting to move away from that and actually going with the people that are influential. Because let's be honest, not all celebrities are influential. Yeah. I, At all. Whew, I just saw a celebrity with 3 million followers. And but she's not even. No, no. She, and she posted a reel. It was cringe. Oof. Um, 
they just don't get, they don't put an effort. We have one who be on phone on the kitchen counter. I'm going to enter and I'm walking down the stairs. We are and it's like, babe, you're a celebrity, which probably means you charge anything between fifty to hundred k for this post, ne? And you couldn't spend fifteen k paying the, the production team. Kuleo, mm. kuleo, I'm I'm overhead spend. I can't have a call. Exactly. We are what? Yeah. So. So it depends, it depends on how much work you, and you need to be honest because mm. when we're charging money, it's easy, your work needs to match that definitely we are both, so yeah Um, uh, how's the hair business going? It's going good, I won't lie, I'm neglecting it a bit um, because of everything that's going on because I did go back to school on top of everything that I'm oh. doing <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was okay and school is in Pretoria so I'm having to travel every time for class yeah. so it's, I know, I you can't fly drive? It's not online, no. You're attending the airports. <laughs> so, so like, if you're not there, at the airport is dropping off. Wow! Oh, no, she's not catching flights. She's not catching flights. Exactly. She's not catching flights. She's not catching flights. I love this full sense. I love this for you, babe. <laughs> so I went back to school. So there's just a lot going on right now in my life. Yeah. Um, but I do have really big plans in terms of expansion mm-hmm. for that for that baby of mine. Um, yeah, at the end of the year, it will have my Please attention. do, we need you to take it all the way to the top. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of people scamming in the head business. Eh? I will deliver. Yo. I will deliver. And if you see your head, it's gorgeous every time. Yeah, no, no, I will deliver. How fun is it? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the I don't think so. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Like, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had a bad review. And if there is, I should have done it. Okay. I'm I think I'm going to start supporting your hair business. No, I haven't had a, 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 a terrible review. Your prices are reasonable? I think they are. Great. I think they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's very important. Mm-hmm. That's quite I, I see you just came. Um, you have a good relationship with church. How did that come about? Is it because you grew up in the church or Yeah. Um so I've always I've And by the way, so they're oasis. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um I actually used to go to CRC before that, but since the Oasis match. Mm-hmm. Um but I grew up in the church. So my mom is you know, like the type of coloring at three years old you're giving your life to the Lord. Yeah. Because you don't know what it means, but you see people going in front yeah. of you do that. Yeah, well, so I've always been, I always, I've always been, um, maybe not so much vocal about it on social media, but I'm a very spiritual person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're a DJ yet. Hmm? It seems to be the end thing. The, really? the, there seems to be a transition from social media influencer to DJ nowadays. Yeah, well, Especially as beautiful looking females yeah, like yourself. Yeah, I, I would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I would suck. I can be someone's manager. <laughs> I manage them and get them gigs and make them money. Yes. As for me being in the decks now. And I don't think it's for me because mm-hmm. they're my equal up. As much as I know that where I am right now corporately, I can be amazing. I can probably be like a general manager maybe in the next two, three years. I can do that if I really want to. But that's not where I am at. I'm very aware of doing what what fills your soul. Because ultimately that's what keeps you going. I get that. Do you know I get I mean? that. Yeah. I get that. Um, we're going to play a game. In the magic summer, I can't perform. I this is something I'm going to play. The game is yeah. called um, Marry or Kill. Oh wow! So you choose a person to marry, and that one you must kill. Hypothetically, of course. Okay. <laughs> Hypothetically, of course. Right, it's tricky. I guess. Um, marry. Who are you marrying? Who are you killing? Hmm. Pearl to see DJ Z. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm like that, both of them, and I don't really know what they are about. But simply because Paul thinks he went to find some girls like I did. Okay. So I'll marry her and mm-hmm. kill her today, didn't they? Safe answer. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> no, but it's the truth. I don't know them like that. I don't really know what they are about. I care yeah. what they are about, but I don't have any personal attachment to who's the same guys who's okay. So, so you don't like, follow other celebrities? If I, if, if I have something, like I follow, who do I follow? International. I follow internet. No, no. I follow Nandi. Nandi Mgoma. Oh, Nandi. Oh, yes, Nandi. Follow me. Follow me. Sorry, Nandi. <laughs> I follow her. 
Um, who else? I follow Linda Mdoba. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I still follow people. Am I as well? Is a man a celebrity? Oh. No, I don't know. She's my friend, so it's hard to say. Like, some people will say Zola is a celebrity. Zola who? Zola Z loving. She's a very close friend of mine, but I don't see her as a celebrity. Mm. But oh. some people would. You know, it's tricky when people are very close to you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Do you know what I mean? Safe, yeah. Safe okay. No, but it's the truth. It's continuing the game. I love this for sense <laughs> Marry or kill Zex Bandini Black Coffee? Sure. You are. <laughs> Uh, really? What? Kill. I'm interested to know why you're killing black why coffee. Why are you killing black coffee? I mean, I don't want to die, but I like what Zex is doing right okay. now. You know, I like what Abantu is about. I like this whole vibe that he's mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. What is that? Mm-hmm. I think he's got a, a new album also coming out. It's called Abantu, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He said it's his last album. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I'm interested to see what, what, what that's going to be about. Something new, something fresh, you know. Yeah. Interesting. Marry or kill? Uh-huh. <laughs> I wanna hear this one. Oh Why my god. Why am I laughing already? I wanna hear this one. It's like, 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 you don't know Shimza. Shimza's the, DJ Shimza. The one that had friends, uh, Shims and friends, at Most Mapira. No. It's Golo? Konya. No, he also has his Konya. I mean, I've read the name, but like, mm-hmm. I can't, if someone were to be like, Kula Lodo, like, I would. Okay, I don't, I, I don't know. Kula. Guys, by the way, it didn't Kula Shimza, but that's too many. There's so much we can talk about. Do you know Sai and Buji? Sai and Buji, the 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 name of Yes. Don't see, I saw that. I saw that. Are you asking me? I am not ready, but yeah. I yeah. Give me a call and change. The popo. Yeah. Um. Is is fifty thousand reasonable? Were you a week? Yeah. I think that is. I think that that is. I, I think it's practically unsustainable. I would. I don't know. I don't know who has. Like, where do you find the man at near fifty thousand? Do you understand? I would like to know how sustainable his life is. What does it right. do for a living for you to have fifty thousand rand that you give to somebody a week? I'm not saying that there are no guys like that. Ew. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But whoever that is, I just hope that. But I mean, she's famous for dating Chalof niggas. Really. Hmm. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Okay, um, would you want an allowance from a partner? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. And that's a fair amount. <laughs> well, it, it's relative. <laughs> it's relative. I mean, it's, it's relative. So, <laughs> 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 It's a force for me. Clearly, it's not 10k. I don't know. That answer was like, so when's that? Yeah, like, 10k is nothing. I mean, I get it, guys. You all know that it's 10k. You show her that I'm not going to do it. 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 I mean, why would you pay for my car? What? <laughs> you are <laughs> you earning more than that, man. That amount for a girl with an allowance. Yeah. But now, why do you have to pay a girl It depends what the girl with an allowance is doing. I'm trying to pay for it because we are more than what I can pay. I can afford to pay for my thing. I'm trying to pay for my thing. I'm trying to pay for my thing. I'm trying to pay for my thing. I'm for land. I don't know. You're trying to pay for my thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to pay for my thing. The money is ever. It's like a short time. My little champagne because everything else she can do for herself. Wow, guys. Future has spent more than 10k. Well, you can give 10,000. Yeah, but I don't know. 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 what would you like to be remembered for? Ooh, oh my word. Um, that's such a hard one. 
I'm gonna try not to cry because I'm very emotional. Mm -hmm. I think I think in everything that I do, I always want to touch lives and change lives. I know that sounds very wishy washy, but I believe that my purpose is just to impact on lives. Yeah, but with a little bit of hope, be it through my story, be it through how I'm living my life, be it through the things that I want to achieve in life. Mm -hmm. I always want to leave Umundu feeling hopeful. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not supposed to say you knew what you could sit with her and you'd always part with something. Because life is very difficult, guys. Mm -hmm. People are looking for peace, people are looking for hope. And people don't find that, especially not online. Mm. Yeah, well, so yeah. And besides, in that in that last twenty four hours of your life, how, yeah. what would you spend them doing besides going to the airport and dropping someone off? Hey, by now. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, but <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm hoping that the time that I have twenty four hours to 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 spare, yeah. you know, I have my kids, my yeah. man, I have my husband. Mm -hmm. I literally can just be with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. Singing so and Zamel noodles all around. Do you have your kids? My hand. I don't. You don't. I don't. They're my sister's kids, but I'm my kids. I, I, I in Korea, it's a business PPL. Anyway. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 that's been really it, it, I, I had so much fun. No, I, didn't. I did. I, yeah. I mean, I learned a lot. I mean, yeah. Great. We love you, Jab. Please come back. We'll move I will. We'll move. If, if there's whatever you want to speak about, if yeah. something that's going on in your businesses that you need an, another old, a different audience yeah. for, because different platforms have different audiences, of course, you know. Of course, um, we, you yeah, that. we are family. Thank you so we much for that. We love glad, you. Glad, glad to be part of the family. Gabong. Yeah, Engineer your life, more life edition. I'm Lungelo KM. Her name is Ra. We will see you on the next episode. I love you.